Melbourne property prices are on the up, with buyers camping overnight to take advantage of record low interest rates. Mark Santomartino met those snapping up land on the urban fringe. Jason and Faith slept in their car overnight just for this moment. Congratulations. So which is the lot number? Uh, 209. First up to buy the block where they'll build their future family home. We're planning to live here for a long time, so we wanted to get the right block for us. Yeah, so we yep. slept in the car all night. <laughs> exactly, yeah. The couple were among eight buyers to camp out at Lara near Geelong, where contracts for the first 16 lots of a new Villawood housing development were signed today. Mark and Eric have been mates since primary school and will soon live on the same street. We're right next to each other, so it'll be exciting. He just messaged me like two days ago and, like, I just said, sign me up. That's all it takes. <laughs> Buyer confidence is starting to return to Melbourne's property markets, according to analysts, on the back of the Reserve Bank's latest rate cut and support for first home buyers. We're seeing clearance rates up around the 70s and the uh, close to the 80% mark across all of springtime, which shows us that buyers are back out in the market in force. Oh, certainly pre-election, um, our sales was, almost went to zero for a period. Everyone was just so uncertain, but everyone's come back. Melbourne's property prices rose almost 2% last month, but overall prices are down 8% since their peak in November 2017. We're feeling that the uh, market has bottomed out. We're certainly seeing that prices will stay and stabilise for the forthcoming future. Mark Santo Martino, Nine News.